Hey, hey, what's up, what's up, it's Mikey Pearin here and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Minecraft 1.13 and today, well, I just came back from the clearing operations in the Ocean Monument. It's already around 25% clear now, so I already managed to clear 3 rows of 5 by 60 area. So that's a uh, 15 by 60 area, right? <laughs> All right, so we're back here in the uh, New Hyperion City because we are going to start a very massive build, of course. And last episode, we have done this uh, apartel right over here and as well as another apartel right over here <laughs> and a smeltery. And of course, you also did this part right over here. This is the new down, uh, you know, the new district that called downtown district. Well, it's still far from completion, right? <laughs> but anyways, yeah. This episode, we are going to work on the administrative building. I'm planning to build it more massive now because I have revisited Bioshock Infinite Lore. Uh, well, which is actually the inspiration for this city. Well, the place is called Columbia in that game. Well, I have observed that, that they got some, you know, super tall buildings in the city. So I think it's already time to build a super structure in this city to make this more of like you know the fictional steampunk city that we wanted to have here in this build so basically we're not gonna work on this part for the meantime and we are gonna focus on this area right over here we are going to do some clearing operations of course we are going to flatten this area we're we are going to prepare it and as well as of course we are going to start building this ginormous building <laughs> okay and without further ado let's get started I just remembered that there's a massive gate right over here in the backside, but yeah, I think this has already been cleared out. So, well, what you just need to do is just to cover this up. So, let's to keep this out of sight because this is not really part of the build. So, this cave is now out of sight. So, as if there's not, you know, there's nothing in there. But anyways, yeah, we are also going to flatten this area right over here to make way for our build. And as well as uh, put some walls on this side. Well, not actually a wall. It's more of like a dike. But yeah, just, of course in the future we are also going to relieve this uh, river right over here to be the boundary between the two districts. So the flattening operations is done. Well, <laughs> that's pretty quick actually. Um, yeah, so we are going to remove these fences right over here and on this side, well, we're, there's no need to build some walls but we are also going to like you know something like a decorate on this part and just, well just because uh, of course the uh, mobs cannot climb up on this uh, some kind of a cliff you know <laughs> but anyways yeah also we are go also going to do some paths right over here uh, on the back side uh, leading to a road on the other side right over here so something like it will be connected to you know uh, this area right over here there is actually should there should be like a road uh well i think it's not parallel but yeah yeah but anyways yeah we're just find a way to connect these roads uh well somehow you know <laughs> it can be managed anyway yeah uh it's getting night time now i haven't lightened up the place so i think uh where did i put my bed yeah my bed is right over there so yeah so we are going to start building something on this part uh well I got quite a bad news today. Well, I haven't done any recordings for the past two days and it's already Monday now, which is also the same day that I should upload this video. And I wasn't able to release a BB Pro episode yesterday. Well, I apologize for that and I'm really sorry because I've been busy for the past two days. Well, yeah, but anyways, uh, this plot over here in the back is now ready for the build. So we can already start working in this area and I already did some path right over here going down on the road here but on this plot right over here i think we are going to do this uh on the next episode maybe uh i can't remember if i already said that on the <laughs> previous recordings but yeah uh same as on this uh, area right over here we're also going to have like a building right over here and same as uh, on the, the side of course yeah <laughs> we're doing it we're trying to do it at the same time but yeah i also also, also did like a water break or a wall on this side on the river and as well as of course for now we are going to work on uh you know this road should be connected to this road right over here well i'm a little panicky now so <laughs> because we're uh delayed on every stuff but yeah we'll try to catch up so basically we are also going to build a road here in the future leading to the farming district and as well as on that side as well so uh, we're also going to make some gardens right over here just adjacent to the you know um to this road and as well as a path on the back side right here uh connecting to the you know uh to the building right over here of course we are also going to make this accessible on the back side 
and as well as you know uh, to the other parts of the city and as well as uh, this road uh, sorry this path is going to uh, be connected on this road right over here what's that sound uh, oh it's a turtle <laughs> I know it was something like a hostile mob, but anyways, yeah. So basically, this road right over here, we are going to remove this, uh, you know, this uh, fence right over here. It should have a bridge going to the other side as well, so uh, leading to the farming district. And on this area, we are also build something like, you know, gardens. And of course, uh, I think I already said we are going to relieve this river right over here. So at least, you know, something like, uh, well, just to make a uh, place more realistic. Oh, hi, chicken. <laughs> Okay, uh, oh well, well, there's a lot of tasks to do, well, this is going to be a massive build, so maybe I will do this uh, in two parts episode, so anyways, yeah, uh, well, we have quite of, you know, stuff to do, so this uh, episode might be shorter than the usual, but of course, let's do this, right? <laughs> So we're done with the base of the building, so I think it's quite simple, but I think it's good enough. And I also have done the road access right over on this side. So basically now I think we're ready to do the facade of the building that we're going to build here. So far, here's what we have accomplished. Well, I think it's kind of good, right? <laughs> well, my inspiration is like a Baroque style on this architecture. Well, I think it's suitable in the city, right? <laughs> well, let's continue building. So now we are trying to make some patterns right over here because well, somehow Baroque style is kind of elaborate. I want to stick to like the architecture but I don't know how far I can go with this style of building. Well, <laughs> right now we are trying to do some sort of like patterns on this side of wall. So basically, yeah, just to make it like a little elaborate. Well, of course we wanted to make this building as pretty as possible i think i need to adjust this wait uh let's remove these blocks uh let's adjust this i think one uh half block higher something like that and let's try to do the swirl right over here and yeah so let's try to maximize the space on the top uh well uh wait let's remove that i think let's put down the, uh that half a block um just like that, yeah. <laughs> I hope this looks good though. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Okay, uh, hmm. it's really like color, uh, sorry, uh, not color, but letter S. Uh, well, it's not actually intended to be like that, but you know, <laughs> let's try to add more design so at least it's not, you know, it will not mean something. But, but anyways, yeah, we're going to flip this, you know, swirls on the other side. So I think we'll, not that will be, I think this is better. Uh, hmm. Well, I can accept that, right? <laughs> but anyways, yeah. Uh, we also need to do this, uh, you know, this design on the other side, but it should be flipped, right? <laughs> okay. And we have done it. Oh, <laughs> now it's uh, flipped and symmetrical, so it looks good. But it's actually really expensive and we're running low on quartz because we are also going to use more quartz on the top part. But anyways, it's time to hit the nether. So of course, you are going to do this in a form of a time-lapse chat and let's go. So in this time-lapse chat, I want to talk about the overall plan for our administrative building. So basically, this is going to be our headquarters of operations. In here, we are also going to place the multi-sorting system. Well, I'm going to use the design of Tango Tech with a little, very little modification. Well, I know it's quite hard to build. It requires a lot of hoppers. Well, speaking of hoppers, we are going to need tons of wood for the chest and as well as iron. Well, we still don't have any iron farms yet, but we'll see how far we can go with our supplies. Well, I will try to list down soon all of the stuff that we are going to need for the, you know, for the contraption and we'll see if we have enough materials. But yeah, it's very go it's, it's gonna be a very challenging, you know, redstone build, especially with the resources that, the resources that it requires. But maybe I could also do some cave explorations to find some, you know, <laughs> some irons and as well as, you know, well, just to clear out the area. Of course, we are also going to expand the city. So basically, we are also going to do that in f the future. But since we're already requiring, you know, some sort of, uh, some, you know, some sort of more irons, but yeah. 
<laughs> and of course, uh, aside from the redstone stuff, we are also going to build, uh, you know, the exterior, uh, which is going to be really massive. Like I said, I wanted to have like tall structures in the city to make it look more of like, you know, the fictional steampunk that we're envisioning. And I also have planned to build some blimps, you know, the giant hot air balloons with oblong shape <laughs> and some other, you know, steampunk aircraft well in terms of the style of the architecture we will also try to mix the different classical architectural you know ar architecture styles like victorian some you know classical contemporary so baroque in the city just like what we're doing in the uh, administrative building well yeah somehow baroque is kind of hard to do in minecraft because of the you know the, the blocks that we have because something like we can all we cannot always use like quartz because Baroque style is always like light and have, you know, fancy arcs and pillars and, you know, sculptures, such uh, stuff like that. And of course, uh, maybe we can also do some Romanesque in the farming district. Of course, we are going to spread these architectural styles all over the city. Well, we're still working on the uh, downtown district and as well as the farming district soon enough. And well, we got a lot of opportunities to share with you guys the different builds that you know i can showcase to you especially if you're interested to do some city building in minecraft well i still got tons of visions and ideas for the city well this is also going to be a long-running city uh, no, sorry long-running series because i really love doing these episodes and it's rather challenging and i really love building in the survival mode well i hope you guys are also enjoying as much as i enjoy doing this episode so now let's go back to building okay so now we're back here in the overworld and i totally forgot that i haven't lighted up our building area and i know this is going to be you know it will be swarmed by this hostile mob <laughs> hostile mobs uh, yeah we have to uh, why don't you die okay there you go Okay, uh, let's sleep now. So at least we can still keep the night. And it, it, okay, there are still some more mobs. And there's a creeper around that part. Okay, that's a good thing, right? <laughs> yeah, let's see. I think there's there are tons and there's a skelly right over here. Let's try to kill that. Uh, why am I not? Uh, <laughs> why am I not avoiding those arrows? Okay, uh, okay, there are tons of monsters right over here. <laughs> Okay, maybe I'll just move this bed. Uh, I don't have that much time to deal with these hostile mobs. Okay, let's try to sleep over here and skip the night. So let's do this. Let's do this and da da and uh, bye bye. <laughs> okay, all right. So now I'm trying to finish this uh, at least the facade for this episode because I'm really running out of time. So basically, yeah, I will continue building this, uh, uh, you know, this building on the next episode. But yeah, we're almost done with the facade. Not almost, but at least on the third level, we already have like, you know, <laughs> design. So basically, yeah, like I said, it's like a Baroque style. So most likely Baroque have this you know triangular shape on the top part and we're pretty much high but this is not yet you know the topmost part of the build so basically we are also trying to make this as tall as possible i think but of course i don't want to you know something like overpower uh this build for the entire city something like that you know <laughs> uh yeah basically let's also try to lighten up this place and i will try to finish this build and let's see how it goes and or how it looks like okay so from afar, this is how it looks like now. Well, it's not yet that much because I forgot some detail <laughs> that I need to put on this triangular shapes. Basically, I just need to put like, you know, the like overhangs like these, you know. <laughs> Somehow it's like a very small detail, but uh, you really have to add it just to, you know, uh, make it much something like beautiful. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how to describe it, but yeah. Anyway, so basically this is also a Baroque style and like I said, this is not yet the top part. We are also maybe going to build maybe two more levels of these structures. So now let's try to fly. Uh, let's see it again from afar and well, what an outer space. <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, hmm. Well, it's not yet that much. Uh, let's try on this angle. Okay. Um, hmm. Well, this angle is quite good, I think, though. Um, yeah. 
although the top part look like, looks like a more of like a Roman style, but don't worry, we are going to adjust that uh, you know Roman style architecture on the top part. But still, it's still part of a uh, Baroque style, you know. Yeah, I think it looks good from the bottom here. It looks massive, uh, except from afar. I think we still need to add more, you know, levels on this build. But yeah, that's the this is the only time we got for this episode. Like I said, this will be a short episode because uh, I'm a li little in a hurry. But anyways, yeah. Okay, let's... Well, thank you for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave a comment. Please leave a like. And make sure to subscribe. This has been my tutorial. And I'll see you guys next time.